Hi, Brian Auer from FeelingNegative.com. Welcome to another video episode. Uh, this time we're going to be continuing the film developing process. So, in the last video that I did in this series, we talked about um, some of the chemicals uh, used to develop your film, and then previous to that, we talked about loading your film up. So, I've already done that. Um, things are ready to go pretty much. I've got uh, my chemicals measured out, my water kind of set up and ready to go, up to temperature. So everything's just about there. I really just have to mix them and start the process. So today I'm just going to be showing, uh, I'm going to be developing some uh, Ilford Pan F Plus. And I shot this at ISO 100 for some reason. Um, so I'm going to have to push the film by a full stop. I've got my timer set up here. So I've got a triple timer. And what I have this set for is basically 15 minutes on the developer, uh, another 30 seconds on the stop bath, and then 3 minutes for the fixer. After that we'll just go through a series of wash cycles. So that's the basic process. Um, let's go ahead and get started. I'll, I'll mix up the chemicals now. So I've got 5 milliliters of rodenol that I'm going to mix into um, 250 milliliters of water. I've got 15 milliliters of stop bath that I'm mixing into 285 milliliters of water and I've got 50 milliliters of fixer into 200 milliliters of water. Okay, so the chemicals are all mixed up. I'll just give them a little stir. Okay. So the developer is really the only one that needs to be at the correct temperature or at a good temperature. Um, and what I did to do that was I, I just mixed some water from the fridge with some water out of the tap to get it close to the 20 degree mark. So we are ready to go. I've got all my chemicals there. Um, first step, pull off your cap. And what you're going to do is just start pouring, tap some bubbles, and then you go through the process of uh, doing the agitations and starting your timer and everything else. So I'm going to go for, like I said, 15 minutes. I'm going to agitate every minute, and then at the very end we're going to switch over to stop bath. So I'm going to pour all 250 in here, give it a little tap, close it up, agitate about 5 or 10 times to start with, set it down, and I'm going to start my timer. I have counted for another 15 seconds on the timer just for pouring and doing that right up front. So. Um, I'm going to let this go. I'm not going to make you watch all 15 minutes of agitation, but I'll start up the video once again um, when I'm sw switching out some chemicals. Okay, so we're approaching the one minute mark. Uh, I've been doing this for the last 14 or 15 minutes now, but I wanted to show you one more um, series of inversions just so you can kind of see that technique. So what you want to do is sort of rock it back and forth and give it uh, like a quarter turn at a time. So you're going to kind of go softly back and forth like this and as you can see I'm also rotating it. You're going to do about five or ten of those. What that does is it just kind of helps mix up the chemicals and then you want to knock off any air bubbles there. So that was the last inversion that I'm going to do. Um, hopefully this will work out. I'm kind of pushing it a little further than it should. Um, so at the 30 second mark what I'm going to do is pop the lid off and then keep, keep an eye on the clock. When it gets down to about 15 seconds I'm going to start pouring because the chemicals are going to keep working even if they're not in the tank. You know, it's going to be on the film. Um, so what you want to do is have all of the chemicals out of the tank and be ready to start pouring the stop bath when the timer goes off at the appropriate time. Okay, so we are right there at 15 seconds. So I'm just going to pour these down the sink. That's a one-shot developer. You can't really use them. Okay, so five seconds. as quickly as you can without spilling. Knock the bubbles off. Do another set of inversions. And this only needs to be in here for about 30 seconds, so just that initial inversion. Knock the bubbles off. Wait a few seconds for it. And when you pour this out, pour it back into the container. Save it. Um, because Same with the fixer, because these are reusable. So if you got more than one roll of film, you can keep using them. So, here we go back in there. 
just try to get as much of it out as you can. And then in with the fixer. So like I said, three minutes on this one. Uh, three inversions, once every minute. And then when this is done, the film is no longer sensitive to light. And we can take it out and wash it and do all that other stuff. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and finish that process and we'll start up the video again with the wash. Alright, so our fixed process is just about done, uh, three minutes later. And just like with the stop bath, like I said, pour it back into the cup and reuse it. Uh, when you're all done, then you can put it in a different container and, you know, leach out the silver and stuff before you dispose of it. But for now, uh, I've got a few more rolls to do, so I'm going to save this. cycle, um, I, I think it's pretty important to get it right, so what I typically do is a series of uh, inversions with water, and then I also run water in it for a couple more minutes, so I like to be paranoid. Um, I just use, you know, regular temperature, cool temperature water with this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this up three different times. First time I'm going to give it five inversions. That gets all the major stuff out. Second time I'm going to do 10, then I'm going to do 20. Okay, so that was the last one there. We can pull the lid off after after your fixer's up. Um, you can pull the lid off. It's not sensitive to light anymore. That's what the fixer does. So you're not going to hurt, hurt anything by opening up the lid. Um, so now I'm just going to go through and just continue. Basically, I'm just going to set it down in the sink like this and let it run for a while. Um, you know, maybe mess with it some. So I'm going to do this for a little bit and then I'll show you my final rinse process. Alright, so it's been a couple of minutes in the water and it's probably washed out pretty good. Um, now I'm going to do one final wash uh, because my water here is a little bit hard and you can get some pretty nasty looking water spots and stuff when it dries. Uh, but what I'm going to do is use, use some distilled water and give it a couple of rinses here. So first I just want to give it a real brief rinse. And then I'm actually just going to fill it up and do a couple more inversions with the distilled water. And that takes care of most of the spots. I really don't get any spots on my film doing this. Uh, that, that should take care of most things. So um, if your water is kind of hard, just buy some distilled water and use that. It's pretty cheap. You can use tap water for the rest of the stuff, but I haven't really seen any problems using tap water for the developer or for the stop bath or anything like that. Um, but, you know, if you want to be really paranoid, I guess you could, too, use distilled water for that. Alright, so, there we go. We're done. So now you just got to pull it out and hope that it worked. So let's see what we got here. Looks like it worked okay. Uh, so what I'm going to do is just hang this guy up here. Okay. And then what I typically do is just first chase most of the, the big water spots. And then I'll throw a weight down on the bottom. Just kind of help the film hang straight. Um, this, not everybody does this, um, but on the non-emulsion side, it's really slippery, and you can kind of tell in a non-picture area. Uh, if you take like a microfiber cloth, and just kind of real gently take care of any additional water. Don't do it on the non, or don't do it on the emulsion side, because it'll kind of stick, and it'll leave like little fibers and hairs and things stuck to it. So, that's it. Uh, I'm going to let these dry, and then I'll go ahead and chop them up and scan them, and hopefully have them ready in time by the time we, uh, put up this video so there's the process